Hello, my name is Brian. I am a software engineer, and this is my YouTube tutorial series on solving the HackerRank interview preparation kit problems. Currently, we are going over dictionaries and hash maps, and this problem in particular is the two strings problem. Let's get started. Given two strings, determine if they share a common substring. A substring may be as small as one character. For example, the words A and and art share a common string substring a the words b and cat do not share a substring function description complete a function two strings in the editor below it should return a string either yes or no all caps based on whether whether the strings share a common substring Substr uh, two strings has the following parameters s1 and s2 two strings to analyze all right so Essentially, since we have this one character definition of a substring, we basically want to make a dictionary with all the characters of string one and then see if any of those characters are in string two. By doing this, we will be able to quickly determine if they have a quote unquote substring of one character. And since it's just a true or false evaluation, it doesn't matter how long the substring is. So if any one character is overlapping between the two strings, we return yes. And if not, then we return no. So let's go into the coding side of things. Make this just a little bit bigger. I think that's probably readable. So first, like I was saying, we're going to need a map. And we're going to want a char and uh, anything else, the second value honestly doesn't matter. We just want the fast lookup times. So this is going to be kind of like a char lookup table. So we'll call it a char table. And then we are going to take the values, the characters of one string, and put them into this table. So we'll say for char c, char c1 in s1. So for every char in the first string, we're going to check to see if uh, char table dot find C1. So if this is equal to char table dot end, which is a, an iterator to the end of the space of memory uh, for the char table, that's what is the return type if C1 is not in the char table already. Then we are going to say char table sub C1 is just equal to true. This is arbitrary, but that's what we'll place there. And then this now exists as a key into the table. And after this for loop, we'll have a key to every char that exists in our string one. After this, we need to go through and until we either find a string, or if we don't find a string, then we return false. So for char c2 in s2, the second string, we're going to see if uh, char table dot find of c2 is not equal to char table dot end. This means it found the string because it's not equal to the end of the string, in which case we can return yes. Boom. So we found that there is an overlapping char between string one and string two, so we return yes. If we get outside of this for loop without ever returning yes, then we must not have any overlapping strings, in which case we return no. And that should do it. So let's go ahead and run the code and make sure it's efficient enough. Oh, compilation error. Oh. Where did I put this? Did I accidentally, what in the world? I think I might have accidentally typed that at some point. All right, that works fine. We passed the sample test cases and now let's submit our code. I 
And there you have it. We passed all the test cases and we have earned our third star. Congratulations. I hope this video helped. Uh, if it did, leave it a thumbs up. Um, if it did not, or if you need further explanation on something in this tutorial, uh, please ask your questions in the comment section below. I'll get back to it as soon as possible. Uh, if you want to see more of this content, I am going through the entire interview preparation kit found on HackerRank. So if you want to see all of these challenges over the next 50 days or so, uh, go ahead and subscribe to this channel and hit the notification bell so you can be notified when I upload a new video. Uh, thanks for watching and I'll see you next time.